Number 63. What is the dew point or the temperature at which 100% relative humidity would occur on a day when relative humidity is 39% at a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius? All right. So I think in question number 61, I talked about this actually idea uh, towards the end of, of that uh, problem, not realizing that they'd ask you a question here, but just thinking about how the questions might change. So uh, anytime you hear uh, relative humidity, I'd highly suggest you think about this formula down here on the bottom right. It says that the percent relative humidity will equal then the, um, <laughs> I have volume stuck in my head, but it's not volume, vapor density, sorry, divided by the standard vapor density, uh, multiplied then by 100. All right. So now, given the uh, conditions, forget about the question so far. If you know that the relative humidity is 39%, and you know the temperature is 20 degrees Celsius, what can we find? Well, we can simply find the vapor density. Why? Well, the reason why is because this saturation vapor density is basically a constant number at a given temperature. This represents the maximum, maximum amount of water vapor uh, in the air, okay? In air at a certain temp. Now they told us uh, the temperature here is going to be 20 degrees Celsius. So we go to the table, we find 20 degrees Celsius, and we scroll on over to the right where it tells us the saturation vapor density. All right. And that's in gram per cubic meter. There's no problem with those units here in these problems because the, all these formulas are basically ratios. So the units will cancel. As long as you're consistent with the units, you're good. So basically what we realize is that I can plug in the percent relative humidity of 39%. All right, 39%. 39% equals then the vapor density, which we don't know, but that's what we can solve for, divided by that saturation vapor density. Remember, this is the maximum amount or maximum density that the of water vapor that the air can hold, uh, multiplied then by 100. Solving for the vapor density now, you simply do a cross multiplication and then divide out the 100, right? So this becomes the vapor density is 39, 39 times then 17.2 divided by 100, and this becomes 6.71 or so, 6.71. And the units here are gram per cubic meter. Why? Again, for the reasons I discussed before, that's simply a ratio. So whatever units you use in the denominator must also be the same as the units of the numerator and vice versa. Whatever units are in the numerator has to be the same as the units of the denominator. Okay, so this is the vapor density. Now this makes sense, right? I mean, if this is the maximum amount, the maximum density of water vapor that can be essentially uh, dissolved, so to speak, in the air, okay? And you know that uh, the relative humidity is only at 39%. That means that the actual amount of water vapor in the air would be less, okay, than the maximum. So that should hopefully make some sense. Now what they're asking is now, okay, so we have that idea. Now what they're asking is they want us to find the dew point, okay, or the temperature at which 100% relative humidity would occur. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another formula, not, not create another formula, I'm gonna write down the formula again. Percent relative humidity is equal to then the vapor density divided then by the saturation vapor density multiplied by 100. So what they told us is now we're dealing with a 100% uh, relative humidity. So I'm gonna plug in 100. Now the part that they didn't state in this problem but has to be the case is that whatever the vapor density is that you calculated in the first part will be the same as this vapor density in the second part, okay? Basically, we're just trying to find that given this vapor density, what's the dew point? That's essentially the question. So that vapor density has stayed the same, 6.71, all right? Now that's divided by, we do not know the standard vapor density. That's what we're actually solving for, but think about this. If I can find the standard vapor density, that means I would know where the number falls into this category on the table. And once I know whether it's in this row or this row or this row, I would also then know the corresponding temperature. And that, my friends, is the dew point, whatever the temperature might be, okay? So let's calculate for, uh, don't forget to multiply this by 100. Notice mathematically the hundreds will cancel. So essentially, and this is the interesting idea here, is that the standard vapor density Right, I mean, this would work out to be one is equal to 6.71 over SVD. And then I would just cross multiply this on up. 
So the standard vapor, uh, excuse me, the saturation vapor density will equal the 6.71 uh, gram per cubic meter. Interesting. This will always be the case, basically, right? Where you have, whenever the standard, uh, excuse me, I keep saying standard, uh, STP, I'm, you know, STP is standard temperature and pressure. Now we have SVD, that's saturation vapor density. Gets a little crazy, right, with all the units. So essentially, if the saturation vapor density is equal to then the vapor density that is found in the air, right, of water vapor that is found in the air, you then will know the dew point, all right? You will also know that the uh, relative humidity is 100%. So in other words, now what I need to do is locate this value on my table. And I notice that it is very close to this value over here, right? It's a little bit below. So I would say now, and how are we gonna, we're not gonna calculate it definitively, all right? We're just gonna estimate it here. So we know now that uh, the dew point, remember the dew point is the temperature at which there's 100% relative humidity, the dew point will be approximately five degrees Celsius, right? And you can also write down dew point will be a little less than five degrees Celsius. That's fine. You know, something along those lines. Um, yeah, so there you go, guys. All right, that's the dew point. That's how you solve it. Hopefully this helps. All right, if it does, help us out, subscribe, and tell your friends. We'll see you next time.